Hi folks, it's good to be with you. Hello to everybody out there. You can look at my um, website, jasonburstpreacher.com, Twitter and Facebook. Uh, Facebook's more for pastors and preachers. Twitter's more for those interested in apologetics, defending the Christian faith. And then my website for anybody who wants to learn about Christianity. It's good to be with you. Love to everybody out there and hope you're having a lovely day today. I want to talk about Mohammed. Um, if you want the scholarly view of this, uh, look at my four or five videos on Adam Rashid. Uh, much of the scholarly information, uh, texts, references, all the scholarly stuff is there. This is more a popular di redigestion of the more scholarly material in the two hour, thirty section, uh, the, the four thirty minute sections or the two hour uh, rebuttal of uh, Adam Rashid. I want to talk about Muhammad. Is he a, a, a true prophet? And the answer to that, as far as I'm concerned, is a false prophet. He's a false prophet, first of all, in Galatians chapter 1. Uh, Paul says, Cursed is anyone who preaches not the gospel. Um, Jesus Christ died and rose again. In fact, uh, let's uh, look at it. Let's uh, look at uh, Galatians chapter 1. Galatians uh, chapter 1. So we'll root it in scripture. So it says there, I marvel that you are so soon removed, verse 6, from him that called you unto the grace of Christ, unto another gospel, which is not another. But there are some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. We said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, than that you have received, let him be accursed. So the apostles preached the gospel that Jesus died and rose again. We have all the historical evidence for this, outside information like Tacitus Josephus that Jesus died. We have evidence that he rose again, there was an empty tomb, um, etc. So the Muslim sources in the Quran say that Jesus didn't die on a cross. So who are you going to believe? The Quran that came 600 years after Jesus, or eyewitnesses in the time of Jesus who said he died, and also uh, enemies against Jesus who said he died. So, historically, the Quran cannot stand up to the historical evidence. And shows you that Muhammad is a false prophet, and he's to be cursed according to Galatians chapter 1, because he's preaching a false gospel. Now, I'm going to give you some data some information but you can get the exact detailed information on the Adi Rashid videos first of all Muhammad uh, claimed to see Angel Gabriel he was choking and he was like going demented when you compare that to the Angel Gabriel coming to Mary or to Daniel um, in the end the, the, the Angel gave peace to those he came to Whereas, well, Muhammad is kind of really disturbed. Secondly, Muhammad, in the Satanic verses, said worship three gods, which makes him out to be a false prophet. This is in their earliest source, Ibn Ishaq. The Muslims want to say that this is not authentic source, and the reason they say it is because it's got embarrassing information about Muhammad. So, he was crazy. He, he, he was having these psychedelic kind of happenings that were sending him mad. He... He had the satanic verses, which showed he was a false prophet. There were verses in the Quran where it showed that he couldn't get peace and couldn't find forgiveness, and that he didn't know whether he was forgiven. Um, there were verses that show that he encouraged wife beating. We know that he married uh, a six-year-old girl. Uh, we know that uh, he was involved in assassinations. We know he was involved in assassinations. Um, we know that um, that he was involved in battles. That's in Ibn Ishaq. And what else was there? I mean, it got the list goes on. He married his adopted son's daughter. Uh, uh, so, sorry, his adopted son's um, wife. 
he he had many wives and told everybody else he could have only four wives. So like he's making the Quran suit his own sexual desires. He profited immensely from uh, all the battles. He had a lot of the plunder for himself. He had a lot of the women for himself. He was disturbed in his mind. He couldn't find peace with his revelations. He, he, he gave false prophecies like the satanic verses. Um, he encouraged wife beating. This is in the Quran. All the detail of the scholarship of this video is in my rebuttal to Adin Adan Rashid. If you want it, the actual verses in it, etc. You want it pinning down in a scholarly way. So, how can you compare him to Jesus, who was perfect? How can you say Jesus was violent? When Jesus said, I give my life a ransom to many. When Jesus said, uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. When Jesus said, no greater love than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Jesus going to the ta tax collectors, the prostitutes, and the lepers, and healing them, and comforting them. And then eventually they, they grabbed him, put a crown of thorns on his head, nailed him to a cross. How can you compare him, the son of God, to a false prophet who was a liar, who was a false, gave false prophecy, who uh, engaged in battles where money was, came into his possession, where he became, had all the money, like most of the money for himself, where he, the plunder for himself, where he had the women for himself, and was inventing verses to suit his own sexual desires. How can you compare that? to the Son of God, there's no comparison, there's no comparison. As Muslims you're defending the indefensible, Muhammad cannot be defended, you're defending the indefensible. You, to compare Jesus to Muhammad, there's no comparison, even in the Quran Jesus is mentioned more, even in the Quran Jesus has a virgin birth, even in the Quran Jesus is said to be the Word, even in the Quran it says Jesus is the Messiah, even in the Quran you say he was taken up. Where what happened to Muhammad? Muhammad was assassinated. He was poisoned. So if he was such a great prophet, if he was so great, how come he died poisoned? Because what comes around goes around. What you sow, you reap. He assassinated people. He was involved in assassinations. And then he got assassinated. You see, you sow what you reap. You reap what you sow. And Jesus sowed love. He sowed truth and honour and honesty. And in the end, the establishment crucified him. But because he was the Son of God, he rose again. And he gives new life to people today. Even today, he changed people's lives. He changes my, he's changed my dad's life. My dad's been in hospital for months and months and months. One day, he was like nearly dying. He couldn't breathe. It was just like that, and he, he held out his hand and he prayed to Jesus, said, Jesus, please help me. And you know, a nurse came in and put oxygen on him. But my dad told her the story, and the nurse said, you know, Jack, it's funny. I was just up at the up to the side of the ward, and a, and a thought came into my mind, just go and check on, on Jack, see if he's okay. And if she wouldn't have come at that moment, he'd have been dead. But he cried out to Jesus. Jesus is alive today, he's changing people's lives. And it says, Cursed is anyone who preaches not the gospel. And Muhammad did not preach Jesus was the Son of God. He did not preach that Jesus died and rose again. And so therefore, according to Galatians 1, he is a false prophet and, and he is to be cursed. Because he did not preach the truth. And the verse where it says that God has no partners in the Quran, if you look at the hadith which you saw all honour, in, in the hadith in Bakari, the first few chapters, that verse where it says there are no partners with God and he has no son, that was used as a political uh, battering ram to take over cities. It was actually a letter was written to a city and that verse was given and if you didn't, that city didn't succumb and say put down and believe in just Allah, it was to be destroyed. So even the verse where it says God has no partners, was actually a political battering ram to make people s subservient to Islam uh, militarily.
Muhammad was not a true prophet. God bless you.